What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the perks that will be available in Modern Warfare 3. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you consider subscribing. Sledgehammer Games of course did uh, something different with perks in MW3. And that was really kind of putting them into a gear category. So we have vest, gloves, boots, and of course what's just called gear, which is kind of you know, you're just items that you're going to wear on your character. And yesterday we got all of the items that you will be able to use in game. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. First of all, let's talk about all of the vest perks. We have the Demolitionist, which of course resupplies lethal and tactical every 25 seconds. We have the Gunner, two primary weapons deploy with max ammo and improved reload speed. We have Engineer, which we did see in the beta, which is spot enemy equipment build upgrades and kill streaks through walls and aiming down sight marks them for your team. We have uh, the infantry vest which increases tax sprint duration and reduces refresh time uh, refresh time excuse me. We have the CCT comms increased duration enemies stay on uh, radar and zooms out radar for you and nearby allies. Enemies you kill drop intel packs, which generate a radar ping for you and nearby allies when collected. Which does sound like a pretty interesting perk we have seen, or a pretty interesting piece of gear for the vest. We have seen some perks in the past uh, Call of Duty titles that have kind of had the same, you know, I guess description. And I think that one might be one that people like to use, especially with that, um, you know, enemy staying on the radar longer and making that radar zoom out a bit more. And last but not least, the last vest that we'll have a uh, available to us in MW3 once the game launches is Overkill. And of course that is Master of Weapon Mobility. Increases weapon uh, swap speed, reload while sprinting, uh, and duplicated effects of course do not stack with Overkill with the Overkill vest on. So here are all the glove perks we'll have in Modern Warfare 3. Quick Grip, which increases weapon swap speed. Scavenger, which is going to resupply your ammo and throwing knives from dead players. Commando, which will allow you to reload while sprinting. Ordnance, which will allow you to throw equipment further and reset fuse timers on thrown back grenades. Marksman, which will reduce sway and flinch while ADS, which is one that I think a lot of people may use if the flinch is as bad as it was in the beta. The flinch and the sway uh, in the game uh, or during the beta with some of the weapons was pretty rough. And I think Marksman is definitely going to be one people may look into once the game is out. And last but not least for the gloves, we have Assault while jumping. Accuracy and uh, time to ADS is improved. Here's every boot perk we will have available to us in the game. Uh, lightweight increases movement and swim speed and reduces noise while swimming. Uh, climbing boots, which will increase the climbing and mantling speed and reduce fall damage. Stalker increases strafe and ADS movement speed. Tactical pads, which is one of the probably more popular ones during the beta, which increases slide distance and allows for full ADS while sliding. And it also increases stance transition speeds and crouch movement speed. The Covert Sneakers, which is also was another very popular one during the beta, which eliminates footstep sounds. The Running Sneakers increases tax sprint duration and reduces refresh time. And here are all the gear perks we will have available to us in Modern Warfare 3. EOD padding, which reduces damage from non-kill streaks, uh, explosives, and fire. The Tack Mass, which reduces strength of enemy flash stuns and gas grenades. Uh, immunity to shock, EMP, and snapshot grenades. Mission Control Comlink, which reduces your kill streak cost by one and reduces your score streak cost by 125. The Bone Headset, which we did have um, access to during the beta, which reduces combat noise, allowing improved identification of enemy footsteps and gunshots. And Sledgehammer did say that that has been worked on since the beta. The only issue with that headset during the beta was it also increased the guns, uh, the gunshot sound and the footstep sound for your teammates as well as the enemies. So everyone was really loud. So sometimes you could not tell if it was an enemy or a teammate that was close to you. Another uh, piece of gear that we'll have available to us in uh, the game was going to be the LR detector, which warns of hostile laser and uh, <clears throat> radiation sources. Ghost TV camo while moving blocks detection from UAVs, enemy radar sources, and heartbeat sensors. 
mag holster, improved reload speed. The black light flashlight shows recent enemy footsteps. Threat identification system, while ADS automatically pings enemy locations in the crosshairs. Uh, data jacker enemies you will uh, enemies you kill will drop a smartphone. Collecting the smartphone generates a radar ping from that location. Signal jammer emits a signal disrupting uh, placed enemy claymores and mines, and also warns of nearby enemy equipment. And the hijacked IFF strobe, undetectable by AR targeting systems and thermal optics, does not highlight an enemy tactical cameras or recon drones. So that is pretty much the same thing as cold-blooded. I know a lot of people are wondering, is cold-blooded coming to the game? And that hijacked IFF strobe is, you know, the kind of version of cold-blooded in Modern Warfare 3. So that is the list of all of the gear and uh, kind of, you know, your vest, gloves, boots, all of your perks that you're going to have available once the game launches. I'm not sure if they're going to bring any more to the game you know in seasons or anything like that they didn't mention any of that when they kind of revealed all this yesterday but we do have a lot of options once the game comes out here in just a few days leave me a comment with your thoughts and i'll catch you all next time peace